Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I have a short video here. Uh, this is more information, and I wanted to share how I use my scanners. Uh, well, most of what I use is snap on, which I have had in the past said that, you know, don't spend the money on a new tool like that because it's too expensive. If you can get a used one, is is the best, especially for the do-it-yourself. And for the new technicians, don't, you know, go into that starting with just uh, a scanner that you're not going to be using as much as you think. Uh, if you can get, you know, a use a snap on Barrow's uh, Edge, is probably the best way to go. You can find it online with the latest version for like, you know, 4,000 or so. Uh, it's better than to spend what you will do with the shirt, but either way, so I didn't follow my own rules, so I did spend the money. Probably that's what I gave in the advice, but you know, since I was having the Bear's Edge, I was uh, trying to trade it in and get the shoes because, you know, I wanted to keep it up to date. I wasn't updated my, my Edge for three years, so I didn't spend that money because I don't want to pay a snap for that. I think it's a it's too much. Uh, you buy uh, the uh, Maxi C's that comes with two years, two years of warranty, and if you buy another two years, the tool will stay on warranty as long as you buy that package. On the shoes, for the other way, I think it's two or three years of warranty, and that's it. After that, even you you can buy. I think it's a, another one year extended warranty plan, which is pricey. And then you can, you know, buy your um, updates every year for $1,500. <laughs> so it's very expensive. I mean, come on. I think a snap on has to come up with a better plan on how to promote their tools because otherwise they're going to left behind. And they're good tools. I mean, definitely whatever you do with a snap on, if it, if it says that it does, it does it. The problem with the Chinese tools like hotel launch or so is they offer so much stuff that sometimes you want to do that and it doesn't work and that's the risk of damaging something. So that's what I like a snap on because I can trust 100% on that. Well, so what I was saying about what a snap on can promote themselves a little better because they're expensive. Well, first of all, try to you know sell tools that are up to date with the technology, not like the SUS, it's the Windows 7 obsolete thing. Come on, but well, okay. Uh, I think that if at least they will tell you that included on the uh, plan for the updates, it will be as long as you keep that, the tool will be lifetime warranty. I'm thinking it will be more, uh, you know, appealing for all of us. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to wait like like I did this time, you know keep the shoes they give me three years included on the deal that I have which was great I waited for like two years and you know before I replace it they gave me a good deal I didn't update my other one they took it as it was and they gave me this one again brand new full warranty up to date and with three years I couldn't say no I just you know I wanted to keep it like that because I do work in very new cars uh, this place where the shop is located is uh, Tyson's Corner of Vienna, and it's a very busy, very busy area. We see a lot of new uh, new vehicles. And I guess you guys see, I have the Drive Pro. I have uh, that's actually a boroscope. I think uh, no, that's my five gas analyzer. That's the Blue Box from uh, AutoLogic. Great tools. I use those most in uh, European for sure. And um, some of the other tools that I got in here, I got the boroscope that I got from Oasis Scientific. I got my thermal camera, and I got like a Sentry and and uh, Easter on the back. And I put uh, on the various uh, shoes. I put the um, back or BCDS, and I also put. Uh, let me show you that in the screen before I proceed with this. So I had the ESCAN2, which is a great tool, and I got the BCDS, which work uh, good in here. But so the reason of this video, let's go back to what I wanted to show. All right, so when you're using the snap which is unique with them, and that I can give to snap and that's why I keep a snap -on. 
Um, your, uh, let me go back to home. So I show you, let's say, you know, you diagnose a video or you're diagnosing a video, you go to the scanner, blah, blah, blah. And then you are looking at the whole page and save that file. Save it to analyze the information. Go for a run, record, which is not going has good memory. You can record, uh, you know, 10, 20 minutes. It will be shrink and it will not take that much space, but it's very, very important data. As you can see here, these are recordings that I have, um, especially the important ones. Uh, the ones are just PID and uh, I didn't use too much. I usually erase them. But as you can see, I got up to 2016. So I keep those files. And then the way you access it, let me close this so to go in order. Um, so you go to, again, home. And you will go to data manager. That's what, you know, all the scope files and everything is saved. Uh, let me, that's how it should look. So you got the camera folder, scanner folder, vehicle system report, uh, scope multimeter data folder, and a screenshot and so on. For what I'm using right now, I'm going to show you guys the scanner data folder. So if I go here, again, I'm going to have a whole bunch of uh, savings that I have, as you can see from a lot of the vehicles that I have work. So let me pick up uh, anyone. Let's pick up this Solara, 2001 Solara. So the availability that snap on gave me, oh, by the way, you can see that on this, on the uh, SUS itself or it, or the edge is the same thing. Uh, I had the dock connected. So I'm using a HDMI cable to my screen and then use it like that. But so because it's, I'm almost 50, so eyes are not the same, but in the screen, I can see better. So one good thing, sorry for the glare. Hopefully you guys can see good in there. It's just too bright in the shop. But first of all, you can select the feeds that you want and drag it at the top. Like I usually keep the RPMs uh, first and then I go long term and then short terms. Actually, it's backwards. I put the short term first and long term after that. And that will uh, organize the PEDs in here. So you can have up to 16 PEDs on the screen. I like to keep it up to six. And I, you can scroll. They're all here. But you will have six on the screen. But then when you start scrolling, let me actually make it in four so it's more visible. You see the cursor in here? So that cursor is going to go on time or at the same time in all the pits. Well, wow. hopefully that noise goes away. All right, so as you can see, that cursor is in all the pits. So what that helps me is if I'm trying to catch a glitch, all right, something like a map sensor that is cutting off on acceleration or uh, why are the short-term uh, short trims going you know off the hook uh, at 2500 rpms i don't want to see that on the car to create an accident or you know it's just on a test drive so i can come back here and analyze so i will put anything i can also uh, lick uh, looks <laughs> all the numbers in here but then i can scroll and move that cursor like the way it was on the on the scanner before now you cannot grab that cursor before you used to be the, uh, able to grab the cursor and move it on the scanner like this way but now it's not but so we can do that so with shop stream you can also grab this file and then move it into your computer if you want not to use your scanner like the way i have you can you know email that file to yourself download shop stream which is for free and then it's like i said it's just shop stream viewer download it and you can use that into any windows based machine and analyze your information you can share it with any friend and then if you don't have the skills or you need somebody to help you out to find what can be the possible cause of, of a you know a problem 
you can send a file and both of you will be seeing the same data, which is very, very unique. So that's why I have a snap on. All right, guys, again, I wanted to share this. I don't know, it's been a long time since I wanted to share, I shared this because I don't see many of you guys using this, use it. It's very, very good. Uh, I think it's the only software that allows you to do that. Uh, Maxis is great for diagnosis, but you know, analyzing pits or watching the pits is very, very, very basic. I don't like it. So I give that to Snap-on. All right, guys, again, it's a short video. Hopefully you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.